Give me a couple right. things that people should look for when it comes to prevention. I would say the number one thing we can do is we need 20 to 25 grams of fiber every single day. Mm. Now, people often think of fiber as I used to when I was in my younger days. You know, we thought of it as something for old people. Listen, fiber is very important for colorectal health because it helps to hold water in the colon and decrease something called your colonic transit time. Mm -hmm. That's the time that waste gets to your colon to the time you expel it, okay? So all foods, whether you're a vegetarian, a vegan, or you eat a lot of red meat, can have, can have carcinogens in them, things that can lead to cancer. And you want those out of your body as soon as possible. That's why fiber is important. That's number one. I tell all my, my patients that the best way to get fiber, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. That's right. I take that every morning, two cups of that, almond milk, protein powder, ice, and I blend it, and that's my breakfast. That's number one. Number two is vitamin D. Now, people often say vitamin D. Vitamin D is a hormone. And especially for African Americans who, you know, we tend to get colorectal cancer younger and at an advanced stage, well, a lot of our vitamin D levels, and even Americans in general, our vitamin D levels are low. Especially, especially during because, winter. Yes, especially during winter, and especially with COVID, yeah. because nobody's going outside anymore. People are working from home and all of those things. And so vitamin D is made when the sun hits our skin. And then vitamin D basically is created that way. And if you look across the board, there's a lot of low vitamin D levels. So taking vitamin D, taking your fiber, helping to avoid constipation, and eating a diet low in red meat, high in fiber. Those are really the key steps. And if I can say something else, which is very interesting, African-Americans have the highest rate of colorectal cancer in the world. Africans, Uganda, Nigeria, have some of the lowest rates of colorectal cancer hmm. in the world. Hmm. How is that possible? Well, the West African diet is extremely high in fiber and extremely low in red meat. And my wife and I go on medical missions to Uganda. And, and when I'm there, you never eat meat. You don't even, you don't even really want to. Yeah. And it's really interesting how, how those diets can really change the trajectory of a disease. And those yeah. are things that we can all do to help fight this disease. Yeah, same thing in uh, Northern Africa. You go to a place like Marrakesh in Morocco, yes. uh, a lot of plant-based diets. Uh, yes. Kevin, here we are, man. You did it. Uh, great results. Uh, you allowed yeah. the cameras to follow you in. What would you say... Uh, to people at home um, to wrap up kind of your experience, men who are on the fence out there? Do it. Don't waste any more time. Book it now. Find a day. Take that day off and go and get this done. I would also say find a doctor who uses an anesthesiologist, Dr. Morell does. And I mean, when I, I woke up, the moment as they were rolling me out, I was talking, slurring a little bit, but I was still talking to Dr. Morell. And I would also say it's just, Take a moment and look at your family. Yeah. Look at your kids, look at your, you know, your mother, your sisters, whoever, and just know that you all want to be here for each other as much as you can. And if there's anything you can do, then do it to keep yourself healthy and find a great professional like I have. Dr. Sherabim and Dr. Morell are fantastic um, professionals and they're a team. When it comes to your money, you should have a team. When it comes to your health, That's you right. should have a team. And then lastly, I just can't thank you guys enough. Dr. Ian, you have been a friend for a long time, but helping me get over this hump was a big deal. And sometimes you have to grab your boys by like the, by the shirt and just say, my man, here's what we're going to do. So I want to thank you and the staff at the doctors. You were fabulous. And you guys have walked me through this every inch of the way. I want that video, um, but I, I, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah, well, producer Marianne will give you all the stuff that you need because she yeah. was lockstep with this. So Kevin. Yes. My brother, thank you so much. Great job. I'm very happy for you. Dr. Zuri Morell, great information. You are excellent. I appreciate your professionalism and your care and all your good information. Uh, so I hope to see you guys again, but hopefully in a more leisure environment. Yes. yes sir. Thank you.